Welcome to Art Today. Today we are going to be doing a kind of a fun project um, that's simple. It might take us a, a little while, but it's pretty simple. We're just going to make a design using lines. Okay, here's an example of one that I have made, um, and I chose to do triangle, um, triangle lines. Okay, and what we're going to focus on today is filling our paper with the lines, okay, utilizing all the space and utilizing thick lines versus thin lines, okay? So not all my lines are the same thickness, and I'm going to show you with marker, we're going to be using marker today, how to move your marker or just angle your marker differently so that you can get a thin versus a thick line, okay? So this one's mostly triangle shapes. This one is kind of squiggly lines, okay? And then I filled in the, the gaps with, with lines um, after that, okay? Well, let me set this aside and we're just gonna get started. So we're gonna be using markers today. If you have thin and thick markers, feel free to use both. If you have just um, one or the other, I'm going to show you how to use them um, to get that thick and thin line. So put your name on the back of your paper in the middle. And then go ahead and flip it over. We're not going to be using pencil for anything other than writing our name today. We're going to be going straight in with the marker. So I'm going to pick out my color scheme. I think I want blues and greens. Get out my thick blues and greens and then a few um, thin blues and greens, okay? All right. That's probably good. Okay, so pick out a color scheme or a pattern. Okay, I only have really two colors for these guys. Okay, you can just do two colors, you can do three. Um, we don't need a ton though, I just got all the blue so I can see them and choose which ones I want to use. Okay, so I think I'm going to do a start with a square design and then I'll kind of show you um, a squiggly design too, okay? So for the squared square, okay, if I want my line to, if I just have a thick marker, or if I just have a thin marker, if I want my line to be thicker, I'm going to use the side of my marker, okay? If I want my line to be thinner, I'm going to use the tip of my marker, so I'm going to have to angle my marker up or sideways, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and draw, let me just draw a square or rectangle because I'm not measuring. Okay. So I can either make my thick line by using my the side of my marker or I can even make it thicker by just going over it twice. So I'm going to go ahead and make this border thicker. Go over it twice. If I want a thinner line, I'm going to use the tip of my marker. And my line appears thinner, okay? So you can use one marker for that, whether it be skinny or or fat, okay? So either either type of marker will work for that. All right. I'm just going to keep working on this square. I'm going to think I'm going to alternate colors and alternate thick and thin. Okay.
All right, so I'm just gonna use these three markers, my thick markers, okay? And I'm good. All right, now what I need to do is start layering this. So I'm going to do what we call underlapping. So I drew the one that's gonna be on top first, kind of similar to like this triangle is on top. And then the, the rest I'm gonna just have to go behind and behind and behind, okay? Or, or next to, they're not, they don't all necessarily have to underlap, okay? So I'm gonna do the square angle this way this time. I'm actually gonna make this a rectangle. I'm gonna make that outside border extra thick, so I'm gonna end up making two lines. Using the side of my marker. Okay. And then I'm gonna make my thin line. So what I'm doing is basically, when I run into This guy, I'm going to stop. Okay, so every time I run into this square, I'm going to stop. And it's only going to happen, I think this is the last one. Okay, the last line that will actually run into the other square and underlap. The rest I will see the whole line. Let's do my thick line. And then my thin line. So if you're doing squares with me, awesome. You could be doing triangles. You could do a squiggly line. But I'll show you a squiggly line next. So You can start with squares or, or triangles if you want. Okay. Now I'm going to thicken up that line. So it's just kind of fun. It's not super hard. It's not super complicated. We're just going to kind of build a design by making different size lines, okay, and shapes. So this line, I went around. Pretend it goes behind here, it continues in that little spot. Pretend it goes behind here, and then it continues over here and back around. Okay, it would continue here, and then up this way. All right? So you don't have to do the exact pattern that I'm doing. I'm doing skinny, thick, and then skinny, thick, and skinny. You can do a few thick, a few skinny. Um, you know, you don't have to follow the same pattern that I am following, okay? You can make up your own pattern. But I do want to see some variation between thin lines and thick lines, okay? All right, I'm just trying to decide how I want to angle my next rectangle or square.
am stopping when I run into this guy. Then I'm going to come down this way. Over. All right. My skinny line. Okay, so we're just going to keep building this until we fill the page up, okay? So just keep going with me, whichever, um, your design is going to look a little bit different than mine, that's okay. But we're just going to keep working until we fill up the page. All right, I got my thick line and my skinny line. I'm going to bring that one in there. So I didn't see the bottom of my, this line would be about here. So I'm just made up the, where the bottom is. Okay. Cause you didn't, I didn't have anywhere to put it cause it's underneath this guy. Okay. So wherever, if the, that happens to you, just wherever you want to decide the bottom is going to come in, that's fine. So I'm doing my outside line the thickest and I need to draw two lines to get it as thick as, as I want it. Okay, and you can turn your paper, angle your paper so that you can um, just get to it at, from a better angle. Okay, you don't have to keep it straight the whole time. So you might see me turn my paper around a little bit here and there.
Okay, so I don't see this corner of my square, so I'm imagining it's coming in. So I might start to see it here, so I'm going to have to kind of make it up where I think it begins, and probably not for an, another line or two, but I want to keep that in mind. Okay, so I imagine this one comes to about here. So then my skinny line I don't quite see it yet, but the next line I'm going to show. So this line I'll see the skinny line. Okay? All right, so we're just going to keep going. Hopefully you're having fun. It's kind of just a nice... Um, some of your parents might find this to be relaxing. You might think that so too, okay? A little bit mesmerizing. Okay, but sometimes repetitive projects are just fun to kind of, you know, get our mind off of whatever else that we might be thinking about. I'm going to go ahead and bring this one in right there. Pretend it's a short guy. All right, now this one, I'm starting to run out of space on my paper. So this one, I'm going to draw um I'm going to draw like it's what back here. Okay? So I'm going to come out this way, pretend like it's up there and then I'll continue it back over here like that. Okay? So if you need to do that, what I just did, and pre pretend draw it behind, pretend draw it out here. Okay, that might help. Okay, I'm gonna bring this across seat. Nope, I won't see it. It's still going to be behind. So I'm done with the light blue lines for now. This one I think I would see. So let's check. So if I go across, yep, it will come out just a little bit, okay? My skinny line.
Okay, I'm gonna do one here like this. And he's just gonna be behind, way behind here. So I'll bring him in right here with the skinny line. There we go. That way we have a, a point of reference. All right, I don't, I don't think I can fit a skinny line in there, so I'm going to leave that. Almost forgot my skinny line. Okay, I'm gonna bring the skinny line in. Okay, and this skinny line I'm gonna bring in. I'm just gonna I'm gonna fill in so this is kind of a weird shape um, I'm gonna make it like the actually hmm so I can either make it like a square is here just behind um, I can make it like it's coming out here but I'm not I'm not gonna mess with that so I'm just gonna pretend like it's back here okay so I'm going to go ahead and do a thick green line I'm just gonna act like it's right in that spot okay to make it the least confusing that I can make it all right so I did my thick line and I'll do my skinny line.
Okay, so that's kind of how we'll fill in on the edge. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm going to pretend like this is one big square back here. Okay, so one big one. Okay, I'm gonna bring this in. If it went like this, I'm gonna bring this in uh, here. Okay, so I have my point of reference to start bringing it in. And I'm just gonna keep this one off the page, so I'm not gonna close it up over here until the very end, potentially. So let's see what makes sense to do. Nope, I'm just gonna do my skinny line like that. And that guy's done. Okay, I'm going to pretend this guy is just back here. So I'm only going to do one line for now. This one will bring in. And then I'll bring in the skinny line. Okay, so this guy, I'm pretending like he's back here.
pretend like it closes up over there. We'll bring, start to bring it in there. Okay. So my skinny line will come over there. And we'll just bring that, that one in here. Like it's starting to come over. I think that looks good. All right, we're almost finished. It's looking good though. Almost done. So I'm gonna angle it this way. And like I have a square coming in here. So there's my thick edge this way. I'm gonna put my edges in. Okay, this one we'd start to see. All right. Okay, I'll do this one here and then one more to finish this off. Okay, I'm gonna bring it in here, pretend like it's over here. And then over here.
Okay, last one is going to go over here. So I'm going to start with a light blue. I'm going to make an edge here. Here and here. So we'll just pretend that we're right on the corner there. And I think I'll bring it in with the next one. Okay, so let's pretend this one comes in over here. There we go. So this is a, a finished line design. If you still need to keep going to fill up your page, you're welcome to keep going. We're going to do um, another version of this next week, okay? So you're going to get the chance to make a second one. So I showed you squares today. Next week I'm going to show you the squiggly lines, okay? Kind of a more, a less geometric shape, okay? just to give some variety. I hope you had fun today. I hope it was a little bit relaxing. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see how they turned out and what colors you decided to use.